guys, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Um, during a recent visit to the Bristol show, I ran into the orange amplifier guys in a room and they were doing kind of hi-fi um, units. So I mentioned this in a newsletter and then within a few days, Kevin Grosvenor, who works for Orange, said, do you want to have a go with our valve tester? So he came around, showed us how to use it and I was so impressed. I bought one. So here we go. I'm going to do an unboxing now. So this is the Orange Valve Tester Mark II. It supersedes, it, well, the, the previous model was called the VT1000. Um, this is the new improved version. The great thing about this is, if you've ever done any, used any valve testers, um, it can be quite long-winded as to, and lots of kind of measurements are done. Whereas this is very quick, very user-friendly, and I was just brilliant, I thought. So opening them up, nice box, picture of the uh, product on the, on the front, a box within a box. Pop that there. Let's open her up. So these are made, designed and made in the UK, which is cool. Got a nice book here. Valve Tester Mark II. Goes through the operation. Wine to choose before using a valve tester. And yeah, we kind of know all this, but very looks clear to me how it works. Oh, and the great thing I must say about this is I haven't got one here, I have got one on order. You can buy expansion packs. So it does your kind of standard valves, which you can select on the front, but it has expansion packs. This one here is for the 300B. So it just plugs into the top and then you can test your 300Bs, which we've got one on order, we haven't got it yet. I think it's coming out next month, but um, that's good. Oh, where is it made? Oh yeah, UK. See that? There she is. It's not too heavy. There we go. Oh, it's an orange pencil. Maybe that's a gift. Not specifically to me, but to anybody who buys. So I pop them there. All right, so here she is. Just to go through it, you've got all the different valve types here. I mean, these are kind of regular standard valve types. You've got EL34, 6L6, 6V6, KT66, KT77, KT88, KT120, 6550, 5881, EL34, ECC81, 82, 83, and then 12BH7, and then you've got expansion. So you select down by going bup, 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 to get to the expansion, if you had an expansion pack. But we'll do a video about that when we get one in. So that's a rough summary there. Figure of A, I, C. Oh, actually, no, it's one of those. We'll do this. We're going to be selling these. Price, I think it's 850, including that. Which you might think is a lot, but not really. If you do a lot of valve testing, plus when you realize how much time it saves going through the process, it's quite a good, it's quite a good value. All right, I'll just put that in there. Put the plug in, like that. Right, can you see that? Is that on that one? Cool. So press on for to turn it on. You can see the lights flashing. It means it's warming up, gearing up. Cool. So should we test a valve? Some ECC 82s. Got one out. Put it in the preamp. Valve socket. 
Oh, so an ECC C82 has two triodes in it. Um, press OK. It's set on ECC C82. Basically, you just go move that up and down to get to your ECC C82, like that, and press OK. So now it's going through the test. So it will do, you, you kind of want it to display the green for good. You don't really want a warm valve and you definitely don't want a, a failed valve. Um, and also it kind of matches valve. So as there's two triodes in here, so it's going to measure both triodes and it will appear as one fixed light and one flashing light. So imagine it as a gauge. So 15 is the best kind of the better valve. So you kind of, ideally you want, 15 to be flashing and steady at the same time so you know that both of both sides of the valve have been tested and they're both at the, the, the peak range um, but we'll see what this one does so that's how to do the matching because if you ever use one of the old school valve testers <coughs> it's quite complicated to use i'm coughing where's the water can i get a drink dude i'll clip my fingers at you So it's going through the process. This is like a countdown. So when it gets to one, you kind of know you're nearly there. So five, I reckon it takes about three minutes, but maybe it takes a bit longer because it's a double triode, so it's testing two sides. The valve's getting quite warm, which is good. It shows that it's been put through its paces. All right, nearly there, nearly there. Hurrah, so it's coming up good. Yep, and you can see that it's, there's this um, stable light on, on 11 and a flashy light at 14. So the two triodes in here in this valve aren't matched. Yeah, which is probably quite normal. Um, but reasonably close together, that's at 14 and that and the other one's at 11. So, cool. So you know this valve's good um, and it's ready to be, to go on, to have a nice life in some preamp or amp. So I'm gonna press, cool, that's great. Okay, so that kind of turns it off. Take the valve out. Sweet, so that's fine, that one. So we try another one. All right, let's try an EO34. Uh, put the valve in. Press OK, you want EO34 which is the top one. Top one, cool. And then, okay. Let's see what happens. So these, are, we get them in pre-matched. So these are matched. So let's see if they are matched. I'm sure they are. So it's good and it's on 11. Brilliant. So let's remember that because we measure the other one, it should be the same. Hopefully. So the plan is when we, we can now do our own testing. I'm kind of waiting for the 300B expansion packs so we can get some cool 300Bs in. I've got a supplier in China and their valves seem really, really good, but I wanna make sure I can test them all before we ship out. So click okay, 
it's already on EL34, so okay again. Now it's going to do the test. So remember, we're looking for 11, and obviously good. Let's have a look at the book. Mm. Right, fingers crossed, it should be 11. Good, and 11. Boom! That's great. So, okay, that. Right. Let's try another valve. So that's great news. So this one is an EL, well, it's an E34L, same, similar thing. Um, I know this is worn, so let's see what this one says. Or it could even be a fail. So try that. You can also test for microphony which is basically where the valve picks up vibration from external sources, like tapping the box and it goes um, We're gonna do that test in a minute to show you how that works. Um, also, if there is a fail, one of these lights will light up and you can link that back to a table, a number from ranging one to eight this reflects the valve failure mode and it will tell you what the fa why it's failed. So if I go to the back. So failures could be number one is heater open circuit or valve missing or value missing, duh. And the other one is two, heater current too high, three, anode current exceeds max value. And the same thing. So you can basically pin down what the issue is, but to be honest, does it matter? If it's, fi if it's failed, it's failed. You're just gonna get another one. But it's great feedback to see what's going on. So you might say if you're designing something and it keeps, oh, right, so this is a seven and it's a fail. So if I look at number seven, basically it says control grid leakage. So, this is for the bin, um, or if you can recycle it, do that. So press OK. Great. So let's do the microphony test now. Dead. Where's the bin? OK, so now we're going to test for in microphony mode, which is where sound from external factors comes through to the, the valve and it gets involved in this, the signal. Um, you can only do a test with the ECC81, 8283 and the 12B87 for this. So you turn it on, you scroll down, toggle along to the number 15, uh, 15, which is the expansion. Hold the right button down for three seconds. So I assume that's that one. One, two, three. When the yellow light comes on, the valve is heating up. So don't think it's worn. That's what happens when it's doing the micro microphony. When the valve is heated, the yellow light will go out and the green will come on. So that's what we're waiting for. So it's basically heating up the valve now. Heating, heating, green. So now that's good. So this is why they give you a pencil, by the way, because you use a pencil to test. The valve is now ready. Tap the valve gently with the pencil to test the microphony. Note, if there is any news, not noise present in the valve, some LEDs will illuminate prior to tapping. Right, so la la la, there's no, no noise, no lights coming on. So, so this one's got quite a low, there's nothing coming up there, is there? Note, this test is in, indicative only. However, with experience, the user can easily detect a valve that exhibits microphony issues. Okay, so these valves are pretty good. So I assume if you have a high microphony tube, you'll see the LEDs go like a, I don't know, video use display, who knows. Cool, so that's done. So, I'm impressed. Um, we're gonna get testing a load of valves now.
because we've got a few lying around. Um, just want to know if they work or not. So we, got, we are going to be selling this um, and the expansion pack. The 300B expansion pack isn't due till um, mid-April. So, yeah. Just before Take care. I sign off, I want to say a big thank you for watching our videos. Like and subscribe and follow us on all the social network platforms. See you later.